example, we spread our sauce from the front to the back. And one, one thing that's extremely important is to make sure that the entire piece of bread is covered. So now that's our JP sauce, it's ready to go. We slowly slide it down the line. We take the cheeses for that particular hoagie. We lay them on the bottom, right? And then we set two pieces of cheese along the side for the top. So this is turkey. Just so that you know, all of our meat is portioned. We literally can take this and spread it over the hoagie. And so yes, we do take our time doing this part because it's important. If for some reason our bread, because our bread is sometimes different sizes because of the way that it's baked, the bread is a little wider, then we may take a little more to be able to fill in your hoagie to make sure that it's exactly the way that it should be. So as you can see, we put cheese at the bottom of your hoagie, we've loaded it with meat, we place two pieces of cheese, depending on what size you're getting, on the top. We then take one handful of lettuce. Um, of course, unless you want light lettuce, then it's a little less. We place it right on the top of your meat and cheese. Slide it down the line. We have freshly sliced tomatoes. These are sliced every morning. Top your tomatoes, freshly sliced onions, lay those there. Now this particular hoagie is all done because they did not want pickles. So you'll see how we take black pepper, we put it in our hand, and we literally shake it over the hoagie so that we're not putting too much. We then take salt, and shift it over the hoagie so that we're not doing too much. This is what makes our product different. It's the oil. So after everything is laid on top, we then take a zigzag of oil. So then we take oregano. We lightly dust the top with some oregano. Then we take our Parmesan cheese. So one thing that's extremely important to us um, is making sure that our hoagies are what we call picture ready. And so, because that's important to us and we're actually crafting the hoagie, it may take a little bit longer for you to actually um, receive your hoagie, but it's because truly every hoagie is crafted this way and is made with love, okay? So now this, this hoagie would all, would be ready. It then slides down the line so that you know that we've had, um, several eyes on this to make sure that the order is correct. And then we go to the next most important part, which is the wrapping. I wanna be able to explain the wrapping process because that is key to um, keeping the flavor and also sealing the whole with the pressure. Aside of the love and craftsmanship that goes into making the hoagie, the wrapping is the most important part. This seals the taste. Um, it makes the sandwich easier to eat. And it just keeps everything, the juices and everything, in so it don't fall out the sandwich and make all the bread soggy. The floor wrapping. Put a little line of oil on top, just to kind of get that flavor on top of the bread. You want to cup it as much as possible. Keep all the meat and the ingredients from falling out. 